a special combat vehicle converted from the T-55 tank to a heavy armor personnel carrier, the Archerite, is operated by the Israeli Defense Forces to this day. Israel's approach aimed to utilize all of its existing weapons. On the other hand, the need to protect infantry from modern weapons. From Israel's experience, including the conflict with Lebanon in 1982, it is clear that tanks converted to armor personnel carriers proved to be very resistant to anti-tank ammunition. As early as the 1980s, Israel began to realize the idea of creating heavy armor vehicles based on different types of tanks, and the trophy T-54-55 was selected. Between 1988 and 2011, about 500 tanks underwent conversion into armor personnel carriers in Israel. More than 100 archery armor vehicles based on the T-55 are still in service. Archerite is trusted despite the emergence of specialized heavy armor personnel carriers created based on the Merkava main battle tank, the Neymar, with a combat weight of 60 tons. Outwardly, all Archerite armor personnel carriers are T-54-55 tanks without turrets. The engine and transmission were also changed. The Mark I variant was fitted with a new, more compact 650 horsepower General Motors diesel engine and was increased to 580 horsepower in the Mark II. A top speed of 65 km per hour and a range of 550 km. This heavy APC is not amphibious, but with a short preparation can float water obstacles up to 4 meters deep. The use of a more compact engine frees up space on the right side of the vehicle to make room for soldiers, and a ramp and door are also installed in the rear of the vehicle. The Archerit receives additional armor protection. It carries seven fully equipped soldiers with a crew of three, including driver, gunner, and commander in a charge of combat communications. The weapon system on the Archerite is quite simpler, consisting of only one or two 7.62mm machine guns, but when necessary, the vehicle can also be fitted with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun or an automatic relay launcher. With the removal of the turret, the chassis weighs only 30 tons, but when put on the multi-purpose armor, it increases significantly. With a total weight of 44 tons, Archerite is classified as a super heavy armor personnel carrier, while rivals only weigh 15 to 25 tons. Despite its heavy weight, the protection of this APC is among the best in the world. Even a 100mm shell can hardly destroy Archerit, while most armor personnel carriers can only against 25 to 30mm ammunition. It can be said that Archerit is one of the very few armor personnel carriers with the best armor in the world today. Israel is currently working on a plan to install a 30mm cannon and anti-tank missiles to turn them into heavy infantry fighting vehicles. However, with the advent of a new generation of armor personnel carriers, the Neymar, much heavier and more modern, the archerists are gradually becoming redundant for the Israeli army. Israel's success in converting the T-55 tank into an armor personnel carrier inspired Russia to build the BTRT, but Moscow's vehicle was criticized as unimpressive.
Recently, Ukraine also launched its BTRT version, built on the T-64 tank. The armor personnel carrier is attracting great attention 